All right, thank you so much, Brady. It's 521, and we are live from the Ferguson Kia Olympic Center, and we are literally just minutes away from the start of live coverage of the 2022 Winter Olympics, the opening ceremonies on 2 News Oklahoma, helping to bring you some amazing, spectacular images, a videographer from right here in Green Country. Before traveling to China to pick up his camera, Jason Dillard visited with me to give a behind-the-scenes look at what it took for him to bring the games right into your living room. Going to the Olympics is no easy feat for athletes, training their entire lives, plus the work just months before the games to qualify. But how about those bringing us the images we'll see from nearly 7,000 miles away? What well, also takes a lifetime of perfecting the craft. Jason Dillard's life in pictures, traveling all over the country, filming events and shows, preparing him for his big opportunity at the Olympics. At some point, somebody will see that uh, that hard work and uh, appreciate that hard work, and uh, uh, you know, give you a chance and allow you that uh, uh, allow you that uh, responsibility to come join the team. A team Jason says he is proud to be on. I, I, by no means has my head uh, uh, grown because of this, but I'm very appreciative. I'm very thankful. Uh, I've worked really hard to get to this point in my career. He'll be in China for around a month to bring us spectacular images from the opening and closing ceremonies and the large hill ski event where athletes take off from a downhill ramp, glide through the air, hoping to land safely. And with millions of people watching, you might think nerves would factor in. For Jason, that is not going to happen. I am there. I am I am there in the moment. I really don't think about that that part of it uh and pro probably for good reason <laughs> but I'm, I'm just there at the moment I'm, I'm there being creative i'm listening to the director i'm behind the scenes i get to see you know the historical stuff going on and and while trying to navigate the camera to capture the game's best moments he also has to navigate the coronavirus to make sure he stays healthy in fact we did this interview virtually when he was still in broken arrow to help protect his health and reaching the Olympics level, whether as an athlete or a creative videographer, is an exciting time for everyone. You know, like, of course, obviously, my parents and my wife are—they're ecstatic. They're—they're—they're they're, they're happy for me. Uh, uh, you know, from the—I the, haven't told a whole lot of people, but I mean, they'll know now. No matter what kind of sporting event he covers, the goal is to bring the best images he can right into your home. I'm working with a team of. Uh, of a wonderful and, and, and talented individuals that are going for the same goal that I am, and that is to bring the Olympics uh, to you. Uh, and, and you know, we we all work together and, and to do the best uh, the best job we can.